if we're going on the assumption that ghosts are real, do aquatic ghosts... Are they water-bound? No. no, they are iron-bound. Oh, fuck you. Why would they be- but Didn't you ever watch Dexter's Laboratory? No, they are not water-bound. Fuck. Oh, yeah, they had an episode about that! I forgot that! They tried to- the one they flushed the fish down the toilet and it haunts them! No, they didn't flush the fish down the toilet. Oh, the, yeah, that's why they- well, that's why it was haunting them, okay. Like, and then hey, the resolution of the episode was they had to flush it. The body. Of yeah. This, of this. Oh, man, I forgot about that. That's good looking out. Pretty dark episode, man. That was a good episode. Pretty dark. It's all about death. That was like the only episode where Dee Dee and Dexter worked together. Well, I mean, you know, Dee Dee is his foil. His paper foil. You almost knew words. Bullshit. Man, I'm so happy that I never agreed to speedrun this. Well, I mean, if you were gonna speedrun it, I would imagine you would play it more than one time in... When's the last time you played Banjo? Like, a few years ago? Yeah. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go lift. Yeah. Do you even lift, bro? Yeah, I want it. You don't get it. Fuck you. Fucking want it. No! Oh wait, maybe I can make it come out more with more more eggs. Depth perception. To be fair, this is something the N64 didn't do very well. Depth? Anything. I'm kidding. Didn't do many things well? But it did one thing great. And that was this game. I'm not gonna credit the N64 for that. Yeah, this is probably one of Rare's finest hours. But let's not forget Goldeneye, Perfect Dark, Donkey Perf Kong, Conkers. Let's not forget Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Uh, uh, Perfect uh, Dark Zero. Uh, Do I have to make you depressed or something? No. Uh, Connect Adventures. God damn it, Rare. Fuck. Danger! Oh, you already have three gingos. Look at you. Speed run at Rusty Bucket Bay. I fucked up already. God damn, you lost. Was it two or three health? That was one. Oh, there was more. Yeah, but I fucked up. Pussy ass acid. <laughs> Sassy. Ass, ass acid. And acid. This this acid's diluted. Acid. Acid. Yeah, motherfucker, you can't catch this. Hey, the tool! Oh, oh. Why do I keep going to Mickey? I don't know. Cause you're all about oh, that. Oh, oh. That that mousy pride or something. Mousy pride. Mouse pride. The mouse parade. Am I a man or a mouse? Uh, you're a little, uh... <laughs> pipsqueak or something, I don't know. Bullshit! This isn't working, I have to go here? And then, no, I went... Uh, uh, yeah. Something like that. Like how, like 15 minutes ago, you're like, I should do the whistle puzzle now. Yeah, I don't want to. Anymore. And then it was like, no way. oh, and then this is timed. It's not bad though. It looks really easy, unless it's like three seconds. Probably gonna miss it, and I'm gonna have to run all the way back. Right? I don't know why you think you're gonna miss it. It's not like you're off to a bad start. Now you're off to a bad start. Not really a start. Drop that cage on Banjo, <laughs> trap him in there forever, and force players to restart the game. Oh. Rusty Bucket Bay, eat a dick. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Nope. That is the one thing I hate about old school point and click adventure games. I still love playing them, but I hate that aspect of them. More so than any other kind of game or any other game in any other era that I've ever played, you can get fucked in them. You can do things out of sequence that force you to restart the whole game. Yeah. And it is a common occurrence. But to be fair, you know, I mean, then you had things like the Water Temple, in which case... You had no, to go out actually, of your way to find an extra key just Yeah, to... that was the thing that I didn't know about. But still, the you have to go... extra key that's hidden in the Water Temple, in the event that you screw things up and do things out of sequence to bail you out, is hidden. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't remember the strategy guide I, I, making any mention of that. Because I remember when I, when I did that in the Water Temple, when I was really young, when I did things out of sequence and I needed that key, I went out and bought the strategy guide because I couldn't figure out how to undo whatever I did to screw everything up. And oh. that I it, it did not help. Oh, this is the most useful. That's a thing I That is the only it. reason I hate the Water Temple so much. Like, I think a lot of people complain about it because it's difficult or because it's tedious inventory management with the iron boots. I just hate it because there is a way to do things out of sequence and get screwed up. And then there's a hidden bailout key. The fucking welfare key. <laughs> what, the welfare key? <laughs> it is a welfare key, though. I now understand why they've been giving you so many eggs. Yep. Rusty Bucket's a big egg dump. Yeah. Like like Pandaria being a gold dump. Not really. You had so much gold and miss. I know. And there's barely anything to spend it on. For doing like nothing. The, the cost of all the flying shit in there is not even that bad. Like all the flight training. Yeah. It would have really been a gold dump if they made you pay for the uh, the Cloud Serpent training once you hit Exalted, but they don't even do that. They're just like, here, you have it. Shut this, is, this is fucking Welfare Cloud Serpents here. Shut the fuck up, you don't know if anybody from Blizzard listens to our shit. No, they should do it. There's no. too much gold floating around. No. We need more gold dumps. Not enough. I don't have any gold. You make, like, repair bills five times higher? They did that shit in Diablo. <laughs> Why? They made repair bills way, way higher. But there's still way too much gold floating around, so the prices of, of anything is just grossly inflated. I, I I only logged on recently to to mess around with a new Paragon. I guess it's not new now, but yeah. What's a Paragon? It's pretty much more levels once you hit the level cap. Dave, I think that was been... their solution to the end game was to introduce Paragon levels. Dave, I think you've been playing too much. Uh... Oh my God! But wait, God damn! I've been playing too much what? I think you've been playing too much Diablo. You should give me your Battle.net account, <laughs> or I'll kick you in the balls or something. I drew a picture of you on fire. You're a disappointment. I wish you yeah, were like dead. Yeah, like the price of items in Diablo 3, everything is like. 30 million gold. I think there, there's at least a couple things now that are at least a billion. Hey, at least if I die, you know, it's like, I'm not gonna be dead for long. Yeah, you'll be uh, with your ghost shark, buddy. He'll be chasing my ass around. God damn, they give you a lot of eggs. Yeah, that's because you have to use so many. It's like one of the only times. They, they probably like realized halfway through, shit, he's not, they're not gonna use fucking eggs. Shit, we really gave too many eggs to the players up until this point. Or not enough. No, they gave too many eggs out. No, you just never use it. Yeah, so there's too many eggs. Yeah, you never have an opportunity to use eggs, because everything's like, poop in this bucket. Okay, now you did that. Now do this five times. You've used five eggs, here is 60. Yeah, seriously. And that is why the Banjo-Kazooie egg-based economy is terrible. Yeah, it's full of inflation. Also, it's a little rotten. <laughs> this balloon-based economy is full of inflation. 
<laughs> oh, that would have been a good joke to make in Donkey Kong Country. Oh, uh, well, I have a fucking thing about Donkey Kong. Is that the, li the extra lives are balloons. I know. So I've been told. <laughs> There's a balloon economy is gonna fail anyway once we run out of helium. Can't catch all the helium to float it away. This helium based economy. You just. You just waste helium. I'm gonna kill you. That is. that is actually kind of a concern. But helium. The helium floating away. Oh, got a jiggy. Because even though helium is so. You got all the jiggies. Even though helium is so abundant. I said jiggy, not ginger. Yeah, you got all the Jinjos, so you got the Jiggy. Whatever. Even though helium is, like, one of the most abundant resources on the planet. It's floating away into space. Yeah, well, like, once we... Once we... Because we've been, uh, mining without keeping that in mind for so long, we've released the helium trapped in the Earth. It just floats out... It just floats away. Does it? Yeah. It literally leaves... I don't know if it... I don't know if it leaves the atmosphere or if it's just, like... Really trapped high. somewhere in the atmosphere where we can't, like, harness the helium. Somewhere with the I might, I sure. might be terrible at science right now. I might be doing a disservice to science with that explanation, but that is, that is a concern. I think we're losing our helium. Is our, hel our helium expenditure, the helium bubble is gonna pop. Oh god. And we're not even gonna see it. I'm not gonna talk like this once it does. Oh god, three one two one one one. Alright, just so I don't remember just so I don't remember that. Just so I don't remember, let me say it. It wait, is it three one two or three Yeah, it's three one two one one one. Three two one. Two one three. Three one two. Two one three one three two one. Three five six seven eight nine ten. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you count with me? Count with me, sing with me. Look at me. Look at these. Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees, look at these. Stop it! Something, please. No! Cock and knees. No! Stop! He's not. No! Poop. Okay. I'll allow it. This is an awesome camera. It's still broken. This is the shittiest camera I've ever seen. Fuck Banjo Kazooie. I give this game a 0 out of 10. 8 out of 10. More broken than Amy. Who's Amy? Why'd you break her? You remember that game from January? Like, I think it was January or February 2012. It was like the worst game of the year. What about one of them? Amy, tw I, I Amy 2012. <laughs> Amy 2012. <laughs> Saving all the orphans. No, uh, Steel Battalion made the worst. I like this guy. He's got a bad attitude about life. <laughs> Look at him just sitting there. He's like... got he's got a surly disposition. I missed. Is that a map of Banjo's world? No. Maybe. Fuck, fine now. Can't you see that one's labeled Rusty Bucket Bay? Which one? Right here. It says the X. Where... Wait, where... Where is it labeled Rusty Bucket? It's not. I'm just making it. I'm talking shit. Stop talking shit! God damn! You're ruining the game and the lore! There's no lore to Banjo Kazooie. Oh my god, Mike. You just don't know about the lore of Banjo Kazooie. God. Do you see this? Um, actually, Banjo is a bear. He comes from Woolandia. He's a fucking Ursine, damn it. Which, yes, technically, he's an Ursine marauder who wants. The blood of the innocent. But Kalui keeps him in line so that his bloodlust does not get out of hand. And that is the lore of Banjo Kazooie. One. One. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. One, one zero, zero, one, 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 one. Fuck me. One, no. zero, zero, one, zero. One, zero, one, one, zero. Hey, hey. You used to know that, Mike. You used to be cool. He <laughs> used to be. <laughs> Not anymore, though. I'm done being cool. I'm tired of it. 